So on this unit, we're gonna be using three colors. Ginger, cinnamon, and French cognac. So I'm gonna be restoring a 613 full lace wig that I did tone. We're gonna be starting off with one full bottle of Ginger by Adore. So now you see me dipping the hair into the ginger color and when I watercolor, I always use warm water from the sink. I'm moving on to my next color, so I'm going to pour out this water and add new water. The next color is cinnamon and this bottle is not full. I'm just using some leftover color and it's a little under half in the bottle left. Now this is where it gets ghetto. I'm literally just sitting here trying to make sure that all of the color is out of the bottle because I need color. <laughs> This is another bottle of cinnamon that I found in the stash. However, it doesn't have any color in it. So I'm doing this little water trick to get all of the color out of the bottle. So when you see me looking through the wig like that, I'm just trying to see if I can find any blonde spots that need to be colored. Now we're going to put new water in the bucket once again. Here you'll see me testing it out to see how dark it's going to be. I really didn't want this unit to be too dark because I already have a like Cajun Spice Bob and I also have a Cajun Spice Full Lace Wig that I've worn as well before. So I didn't want this unit to be too dark. With the fringe cognac, I did have a full bottle and I will use the full bottle to fill in the blonde patches. This is the unit after I have co-washed it. I never use shampoo on any of my units. I always tell anybody who asks for aftercare instructions with their units, I never use shampoo. Now I'm using the Got To Be Glued Styling Gel just so I can push my hair back so I can put my cap on and my hair isn't in the way when I go to place my glue on my skin. And yes, sis did her own braid down. This is not a bust down. However, this is going to have my hair pulled back so I can put my wig on nice and flat. So 
So here I'm gonna do a visual of how I put my cap on and how I get it to stay down and on. But let me say this, I did record a full video of how I installed this unit and tell me why you can't even see me in the frame. Like you can't see my head at all, which is annoying. So I'm gonna redo this video, but with a different color wig. However, I did just show you how I put my cap on. I also did not get to show you, but with this unit, I do go ahead and sew the back of my cap down once the front is dry. With this full lace wig, I also did not glue or tape the back of my wig down. I went ahead and sewed my wig into the cap and onto my braids. This is a 613 full lace wig from Let Us Lay. Hey guys, this is the next morning. I went ahead and did my face and I just straightened my hair out again. But as you can see, the lace is melted now and I did need some baby hairs. So yeah, I'm about to go to work, but I do want to come and show you the end result of my install. And coloring this hair, I love the color. It kind of changes in different lights. I love it.